Have you ever worked with the compound clips before? If you haven't, let me show you why it's a great reason to do so. Right, and sometimes this is how your timeline looks. You've got a couple of tracks, so you've got the video track, a color grading, two text effects, maybe even a lower third. And if you play this, the red part means it needs to be rendered out. And if it isn't rendered, you see that it's very, very laggy and that's very annoying. So a more easy way to work with this is to use compound clips. Now to make a compound clip, you need to select everything, select the right mouse button and go for new compound clip. You can give it a name, create, and now you see we've got one clip. Now, where are all the options? It's still very, very laggy. All the options can be found if you select the right mouse button and go to open in timeline. And that will allow you to change anything you like into this compound clip or in this compound clip. So if I hit Alt and I drag this out because I want to have it double for whatever reason, it's now double. And then if I go back to the timeline by double clicking this, you see we still have got one compound clip to go. And that's very, very handy because right now if I change the clip speed, it will change everything rather than just a video track. Because if you go to the compound clip menu, open in timeline, and you want to change the speed of everything, and you're trying to do this at once, so let's go to 400%, it won't work. It'll only change the clip speed. So with a compound clip, we don't have that problem anymore because everything will be sped up or slowed down or whatever option you use. Now, if the playback is very, very laggy, like it is right now, th there's one more thing you can do with the compound clip, which is select the right mouse button and then go to render in place. You will have the option to render it in any type you like, and then you can select render and select a folder where you want to save it. And then it starts to render out this clip. And that has the advantage of it being ready for your edit which means that if you play it back, everything will be smoothly, which I'll show you in a minute. So now that it has rendered out, I can play it and everything is very smoothly. There are no hiccups, there are no lagging. And this is the reason why I like to work with compound clips in general. And that's it. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, please click that playlist right there. For now, my name is Rick Richen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Doei!